Hi there, digital artists. Here is a quick review of the selection tools and other tools that we talked about in class on Thursday. Um, remember this top bar here is the status bar. And as I showed you in our last video, we're starting out with the painting preset of brushes over here. This over on the left hand side is a handy toolbar. And we don't need to worry about all of these tools today. But for right now, this is the Move tool, the top one here. You can see that will move my layer up or down. Remember, I can only do an, act an action to an active layer. The next tool down is a rectangle selection tool. And that allows me to draw a box around something. Then if you go back to your first tool, you'll see that the Move tool will now move just the selected box. Once I've selected something, if I decide I don't want that selection, I can use Command D to deselect. The next tool that we talked about in class is the Brush tool. In our painting preset windows over here, we have a very easy to use brush window that gives me lots of options. Also in my status bar at the top, you can see that I have a brush active. There's a brush drop down menu. And in this brush drop down menu, this little arrow will give me options of opening different brush presets, different collections of brushes. We're going to leave it as it is right now. We're going to keep the mode on normal for the moment. We'll talk about different layer modes in a later class. We can adjust the opacity of the brush using this slider bar here. And for the moment, we're going to leave flow on 100%. There's also the eraser tool. And I have this set for a standard round brush. You'll see that erasing just does that. Again, I can change the opacity of my eraser. You see it doesn't erase nearly as much. Um, we can also use the text tool. Remember what I told you about the text tool, that text is a vector graphic and therefore all text will appear on a separate vector graphics layer. When I use the text tool, I then want to click this little check box up here or decide that I don't like what I typed and deny it. Those are a couple of the first tools that we talked about. So thanks for watching.